your audience 15 years and over. of the facility. Gerald, sorry, with minimum security here, but procedure. I'm Detective Ryan, this is Detective Mapplethorpe. Oh, sorry, that'll be my cuffs. Mr. Stackpole, open up. The Rundles run under private contract. There'll be inquiries. A death like this is the last thing I need. And what's worse for you then, accident or murder? There's no way this was an accident. Samuel Hegarty. He was in for embezzlement. Can't we get him out of there? He deserves a little dignity, surely. Um, Reverend Waldegrave, I'm the prison chaplain. Sorry, Reverend, this is now a crime scene. Who found him? Mr. Patel and me. He was still going round. We heard the thumps, stopped the machine. I checked to see if he was still alive, of course. I'd say all the blood's from his, uh, missing bits. Missing bits? His genitals. He didn't bleed to death, he probably choked. His missing bits are halfway down his throat. Was Hegarty day to day? Uh, no trouble at all. Best behaviour. He was due for release in four months. We need to see his file. Any particular friends? Not that I know of. He worked with some inmates in here. On rotation. For rotation? No pun intended, one hopes. I can give you a list of his co-workers. The laundry's running shifts. That'd be useful. I found this in the sheets. Nasty. Mm. The pathologist said he was still alive when they started the dryer up. His hands were tied with a torn sheet. Gerald, they uh, need your signature for the release of the body. Of course. They do. Tomorrow, we'll need to interview the inmates and your staff too. Terrible business. Terrible. Did you see much of Hegarty? Oh, a bit. Counselling, you know. Think of any reason anyone would want to murder him? No. I really can't think who would have done this. Jail's privately run. Inmates are all on their way through and out. Violent offenders? Some, but more your vehicular manslaughter, domestic flip-out types. Lots of transfers, like Hegarty, from other jails. Soft landings. Everyone's focused on getting out, getting on with their lives. Model prisoners. Obviously one of them isn't. Mm. This is his transfer photo. Samuel Hegarty, 47. The head warder, Carl Stackpole, and this guard, Ramish Patel, they found him. Yeah, he'd been fed his own meat and two veg. Oh, lovely. Jennifer, prior convictions. Um, sorry, Sarge, don't know. 
The file from the jail's pretty basic. Transfer dates and personal details. Simon's pulling the rest off. Whole search. And I'm not getting very far. I can't access his file. I spoke to criminal records. They said there's a need to no flag on it. It's restricted. Mr. Quayle is with the ACPCF. The Administrative Council of Private Correctional Facilities. Good morning. Pleased to meet you. And uh, what does the ACPC do? The ACPCF. We liaise between outsourced entities and the various governments and judicial bodies. Bureaucracy. Curse of the age, I'm afraid. You won't be upset if I agree. No, dear. Files you requested? Wrapped in red tape, I bet. No, not at all. The only requests I have are that you sign the confidentiality agreement, keep them safe, and return them to us when you're done. Sounds reasonable. Hagen. Hagen, he was an alias. His real name was Samuel Hagen. He was under an internal protection order. Just before his transfer to Arundel, he had served five years of an eight-year sentence for carnal knowledge of a minor. He was a pedophile. Is that right? The unforgivable crime, eh? Well, that could make sense of the phone call I've just had. Mm -hmm. From Mr Fox at the prison, he's very concerned that this should be kept as quiet as possible. Why? According to Quayle, the prison administration were never told of Haggerty's real case history. Well, I think Mr Fox's concerns are more about his facility's reputation and retaining his company's government accreditation. Yeah, and his own job. Yeah, possibly. Mm. Fair enough, a murder on his watch is not going to win him any points, is it? True. Now, what about the team? Are they going to be, now that they know about Hegarty's history, able to put a lid on their distaste and get on with it? They will do their job. If they don't, they'll have me to answer to. Actually, a word from their superintendent wouldn't go astray. United Front? Wouldn't hurt. The guy who killed him is already in jail, so why are we even wasting our time with this crap? Yeah, I mean, chopping off the old equipment's the best way of dealing with these bastards, if you ask me. Unfortunately, Wilton, you're not being asked to provide your expert opinion. Given the animosity that so often arises when dealing with these people... What, rock spiders? I thought I'd better make it quite clear. No fear or favour. This is a murder victim. If anyone has any problems with that, we can always find them something else to do. Thank you, Senior Sergeant. Yeah, I've got a problem with it. What's this protection order crap, Sarge? Higgity slash Hagen was transferred uh, on the recommendation of the Sentencing Review Board. He was placed under a new name with a sealed file, his original charge to be confidential. According to our Mr Quayle, Hegarty was a big success story. Rehabilitated, remorseful, he'd requested and been approved for chemical castration. Copped the real McCoy instead. This Fox guy who runs the prison, did you know anything about this? No, no one was supposed to know. This was part of an experiment giving uh, rehabilitated sex offenders a chance at having a new life by changing their identity before release. But if someone found out? Well, there's your motive. Yep, exactly. And that's our starting point from which we now proceed. You've got the list. Check the inmates. Maybe someone recognised him. Bit hard, Sarge. Long hair, beard. He arrived in disguise, pretty much. Well, nevertheless, that is our starting point. I want you to run computer checks and do interviews in the jail. OK, I'll run computer checks. Uh, Simon's across that. You and Matt are the leads on this case. You do the jail. 